Come ride with me as I do a neighborhood drive through tour of Sun City Aliante. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. But you know what, before we get started, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Anyways, welcome to my neighborhood drive through series. And in this series, I'm gonna be touring all over Las Vegas Valley, taking videos of all the neighborhoods here. It's gonna take a while to do all this, so I hope you like it. <laughs> but right now, we are gonna do a drive through tour of Sun City Aliante, which is part of the Aliante Master Plan community and is a 55 plus active adult retirement community. And it is by Del Webb. Now this community was developed between 2003 and 2008. So there are no new construction in this neighborhood. Everything is all resale. When this community was developed, they had, I think about, um, did I pull the wrong one? They had like seven different floor plans to choose from and the houses range in size. This is not right. This is my old Sun City Aliante. <laughs> oh, sorry, between 1155 square feet to um, 2105 square feet with two to three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and a two car garage. And some of the larger models will have a den as well. So the nice thing about Sun City Aliante is it's right along the Aliante Golf Club golf course. So a lot of these homes are on a golf course, which is really, really, really nice. But I'm gonna stop for a second, pull over what this guy can go past me. I'm gonna take video of the home so you can see it. While I have a good stretch of homes without anything. Last time I was here, I did a video, it was um, trash day. So it's kind of actually nice not to have the trash cans in the way while I show you what these houses look like. They're all very nice, modern looking. They're not as old as Sun City Summerlin. And the nice thing is that I like the double um, sidewalks. Now the house prices are not as expensive as Summerlin or Henderson. This is probably the most reasonable price um, anthem, I mean reasonable price uh, retirement community in Las Vegas Valley. Um, especially for Del Webb. This is like very good price and the houses are really nice. Now the golf course um, is open for the general public and it's an 18 hole golf course that was designed by a guy named Gary Panks. It's a 6,900 yard par 72 golf course. Just FYI, if you guys are golf enthusiasts, <laughs> a lot of people are, but I really like uh, the fact that a lot of the homes have access or views of the golf course. Now typically a home that is on the golf course is going to be a little more money than a home that is not on the golf course because you're paying for those premium views. Uh, the Sun City Clubhouse is the focal point of the community. They have horseshoe pits, bocce ball courts or whatever, and they also have a pickleball court, a tennis court, um, and inside the clubhouse they have a billiards room, and they have an indoor lap pool and a spa. They do not have an outdoor pool. They have crafts room, media rooms, etc. When we're done doing this tour, I'm going to stop and we're going to take a look at that community center. That's the only downfall with this community is that there is no outdoor pool, which a lot of seniors love outdoor pools. So that's the, I think the downside to this neighborhood.
So we just basically did a nice loop around the community and right there is the Aliante Hotel and Casino. And then we're gonna drive through the Aliante um, area for the golf course when you drive into it. They do have a nice restaurant in there as well. So here's where you would go if you wanted to play golf. It's a beautiful day out right now. I'm filming in October. Who knows when I'll post this video or when you'll watch it, but October is a very beautiful time of year here in Las Vegas. The weather's phenomenal. It's gonna be in the 70s this week. Um, it was in the 80s and even when it's 90s, it's still you know much bearable than the 100 degree temperatures. October and I would say probably April are the two best months to visit Vegas. So I'm gonna get out, take a tour of this clubhouse and then wrap it up. Okay, here is the Sun City Aliante Clubhouse. I'm gonna take a tour of outside the grounds area first um, because I see a lot of people going in and last time I was here, they gave me a hard time about filming, so we'll see how that goes. But you have the bocce ball courts right here and it says that there, it doesn't tell me how many bocce courts they have, but it's nice. And then they have lighted tennis courts have it locked. That'd be difficult. I understand that they only want to keep the people that live here, but if I want to play and go in without having to get a key, that would be much more ideal. Uh, I think that's very cumbersome to lock up the tennis courts, but I mean, I guess there's pros and cons. Maybe keep them open during the day when people are want to play without having to go to the front office to get the key to open it up. That would make more sense. It looks like they have restrooms as well. And then this is a horseshoe pits right here. Uh, this looks like court looks smaller so this looks like a pickleball court I don't know how many pickleball courts or tennis courts they have I like the water feature in the front of the community and right there is Aliante Parkway across the way so we'll go inside um, the clubhouse and check it out so FYI the clubhouse has only one indoor pool and spa there is not an outdoor pool, unfortunately. They do have a state-of-the-art fitness center, an aerobic studio, a large ballroom, and a social hall. They also have a billiards room and hobby and craft studios. And then we just saw the horseshoe pits, the bocce and pickleball courts and tennis courts. They also have 40 sanctioned clubs, probably more than that. Um, so this is, you know, a smaller retirement community, but it still has a lot of the nice amenities. Then you have the Aliante Golf Club right next door. So I'm gonna stop it for a minute and wait till I can get inside to see if I can film. And I'll see you guys on the flip side. Okay, I just came in here and they let me take a quick pan because there's nobody in here, but thankfully there's nobody in here so I could take this video. Um, that's the main hall area, seating area. I'm gonna have to be super stealth on this one. I got five nice pool tables. Ooh, a dart board, a shuffle board. I like that. Little lounge areas, a TV area. Very nice, okay. I'm gonna be stealthy.
All right, this looks like a little kitchen area where people can gather, play cards, ping pong. I can't really take a video of the rest of the area because there's people in it, but you get the idea of what the clubhouse looks like. There's people down there. Um, to the right is the gym. And this way, it's nice that everything's inside. Crafts rooms, more craft rooms, and the outside. Um, I will see if I can attach the pool video I have the last time. This is the dance and aerobic studio. The last time I was in here and attach it to this. So I'm gonna leave because I don't want to get in trouble, but this is what the clubhouse looks like inside San Cili Aliante. I was able to get in to the indoor pool, which is nice. It's a nice lap pool and they have a hot tub back there. I'm gonna go outside and take video of the grounds. This is beautiful. Very nice golf course. I love the mountain views in the backdrop. So nice. I'm in the back way of the clubhouse because they kind of were sticklers about me taking video of people in it, which I understand because I had the same problems when I wanted to do Sun City Summerlin. But the, it's very, very beautiful over here. Love the mountains. I think those are the sheep mountains. So, okay. Well, I'm going to get in the car and finish up this tour. Hopefully that you were able to get some idea of what it looks like over here. Gosh, can't say enough about it.